Tis the season, people. It's time for some holiday horror films. Today, we're actually going to discuss a new one. It's called It's a Wonderful Knife. It's currently streaming on Shudder, and this was a slasher film that's a fun new holiday one, and I think it's really worth the watch. So today, we're going to hear my positives, the negatives, the rating, and then I'm going to send you all home. So let's do this. Roll it. <laughs> It's a Wonderful Knife follows our main character, Winnie Carruthers, who is actually at a Christmas Eve party where her, her brother, and a bunch of her friends are attacked by this killer, and she ends up, this isn't a spoiler or anything, she ends up stopping the killer and then ends up wishing a pawn, like kind of like an Aurora Borealis or wishes upon a star type moment and everything that she wishes that she didn't exist or that things would be better if she didn't exist. And then it goes to, she wakes up or it's a year later, in a world where she wasn't there and wasn't able to stop the killer so and the killer's been killing for a whole year and now she's got to stop the killer again and find out who it is so yeah this one had a lot of surprises and a lot of fun things to talk about so yes let's get right into the positives one really cool positive I have with It's a Wonderful Knife is I think the cast of Plenty is just really fun. There's a lot of awesome people in here. We got Justin Long in here. We got Catherine Isabel. We got Cassandra Nod. We got Joel McHale. So there's a fun cast all across the board in this film. And I think they deliver on their roles and they get a lot to chew on in terms of comedy. There's drama moments. And then there's also, you know, the horror moments. So there's a really a lot of stuff to do in this film. And like Sandra especially was one that I was happy to see in because she was in a film earlier this year called Influencer. And I was highly into that film and she was the lead in that movie. And this one was kind of just a cameo appearance. And one more, one more horror film. And then we could be calling her another Scream Queen. Another really cool thing about this film is it's going to be kind of weird to say this about a horror film is that this film is very wholesome I think in terms of its messaging in terms of the way the film is handled in terms of the romance that's within the film as well I don't want to spoil anything like that but yeah this film has a lot of cool messages and it has a wholesome vibe to it and I know that's a lot that's very weird to say about a horror slasher film but I think this one has a lot of important things to say within the story and I think it really has a lot to it you know that you can peel back you know the layers there's more than just surface level stuff going on in the story for this movie another thing i really dug was the design of our slasher killer the angel it's a really cool design the pure white i love the mask even the specific knife that the killer uses it's very on point very specific so this killer like I said is going to be one of those slashers that right now is going to be kind of like you know like my bloody valentine you know like the miner or something you know one of those underground ones or uh the town that dreaded sundown you know like the phantom it's going to be one of those kind of ones that people don't talk about but it's going to be an underrated one and i think the design for the angel in this film the killer is really freaking cool i also like the christmas atmosphere in this film there's a lot of christmas vibes be it that the town is kind of like this mountain snowy town but there's also a lot of christmas elements there's christmas parties and stuff everybody's dressed in beanies and there's christmas lights everywhere even some of the kills like they have to do with you know these really cool soundtracks that are timed to like Christmas lights and stuff so there's a lot of awesome atmosphere throughout this uh, movie that is a lot of fun and I really enjoyed that you know because for me that's one big thing if you're going to be a holiday horror film I want you to go pretty much full blown full all, all those balls to the wall with that you know whatever kind of holiday you're going with because I want to feel the atmosphere I want to feel like it's that holiday you know I want to be able to watch it during the summer or during a different time of the year and still feel like I'm in, you know, Christmas time. Another really cool thing is I like our romance that's in the film and I like the climax, the third act, like everything, the reveal, like the last 10 minutes is a really good wrap up to this movie and I really enjoyed that because there's a lot of films that this one I was kind of afraid that they wouldn't stick the landing spot but they did a very good job and I was very happy like I said with the last 10 minutes where they ended off this film and I think this is one that's going to be a mainstay for me one that I'm going to add to my Christmas watching rotation over the next you know years over Christmas time but let's talk about the mixed and negatives because there are some mixed and negatives things about this film things that didn't land with me and one thing I want to say for sure is that I think there's a side plot that happens kind of in the latter half of the movie that doesn't really show 
show up until about 25, 30 minutes into the movie. And I really didn't even think you needed this side plot. It has to do with like drugs and everything. And I just really didn't think they needed it. It doesn't get enough attention to it. It doesn't get enough explanation or anything like that. And it kind of just comes out of nowhere. And then like when the resolution happens, it's like you kind of forget about it anyway. You know what I mean? It's not like something they have to fight hard for it to like to erase or nothing. Like it's, it happens once they complete the stuff they do in the third act it's over. So it's something that was a side plot that I think didn't need, wasn't necessary at all. Another negative for me is that I think for me, the writing and all that stuff was on point. The comedy, I was laughing my ass off and they really committed to that aspect of the film. But I think the horror elements, I think they're more gruesome, more brutal kills and even better practical effects kills would have elevated this movie even more to have even the better rating because this is going to get a positive rating. It's going to get a really good rating, but to elevate it into that upper echelon tier where I would be like, this is a must watch type film for everybody during the Christmas times. I really think that extra punch in terms of the gore would have really helped elevate this film. There is some gore moments. It's not without them, but I think I would appreciate it a lot more. It's a Wonderful Knife is currently streaming on Shudder. Like I said, this one is one that I highly recommend you go out and check out, especially right now for this holiday season. And in terms of the rad rating in my book, It's a Wonderful Knife is going to get a solid 8 out of 10. That's a very strong 8 out of 10. Like I said, just those couple negatives that like, if they would have corrected those negatives, that definitely would have pushed this film into that 9 out of 10 category, like in that area, 9.5 out of 10. Because like I said, that weird side plot didn't need that at all. And some really cool, awesome, more gruesome kills definitely would have pushed this up there. But this is still one that I, like I said, highly recommend because it's got fun characters, a really cool cast, and a strong Christmas atmosphere that I think you're all going to enjoy. A lot of things that's going to be hit or miss with some people is the comedy. That's going to be hit or miss. That really depends because comedy, a lot of people really is what you're coming for you're what you come for you know what you're into that depends you know what i mean but me for the comedy i landed in a lot of areas for me so i was laughing my ass off so thanks for sticking around with me all for this rad movie review of it's a wonderful knife please let me know down in the comment section if you've seen this film what are your thoughts on it also what are your christmas watching plans what are you going to be checking out for this holiday season you know for christmas eve or christmas day do you got any specific movies that you love to watch please drop them down below in the comments so we can discuss, but also like this video. That definitely helps out the channel. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Have that notification bell poke so you're notified anytime I post a video. But most importantly, I want you all to have a safe and happy day. Peace out.